be with the average American, like and you want to and you want to know why the average American you want to know why the average American can't afford it because most of them are one by themselves. If you put if you put the average man with the average woman, they can survive with a four hundred one k with a savings. Here's where here's where the problem comes in with this, right? So we we don't have a static economy. We have an economy that's constantly improving and constantly moving. Right. Right? So originally, our school system and it still does it it teaches you how to be a worker. It teaches you basically how to be a factory worker. That's the reason why you have the bell. That's the reason why you have so many similarities to a factory at a public school, right? So during the time of the Industrial Revolution, getting a regular job. You could afford to live a comfortable lifestyle with that regular job at a factory. The only problem is we don't live in the industrial uh, revolution anymore. Things have changed to where now you have to level up as far as getting a trade or being a business owner or something like that. Now, if you look at the average American, the reason why the average American makes the average money they make is because the average American is fucking lazy. And the reason why the American, the reason why the average American is fucking lazy is because they are trained to go to a place and press a button and get a paycheck. The They're trained American to go and do the average American they, works 40 hours a week. They are trained. Yeah, exactly. And they, work, they, that work, work, they work 40 hours a week for menial wages. Okay. That's menial wages. If a person, if a person, if a person simply got a trade, whether they became a, a, a freaking mechanic, a plumber, an electrician, they would make well above the average. You know the average the reason, for a plumber? What's the average for a plumber? It's in line with the damn near with the average uh income actually, for America. actually it's, not. it's not. What's the average? Actually, it's not. What's the average? The average for a plumber is somewhere around 60. And that's an experienced plumber. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin look and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. So we're talking, talking about we're talking about rookie. We talking about average. So you're, it's gonna you're be coming experience. In, if you're coming in as a rookie as a plumber. I just did the numbers on this. You're making roughly about forty. Actually, no. And there's a reason why. The reason why is because in this day and age, for every every uh, five skilled tradesmen that retire, they're replaced by two. So right now there's a high demand for skilled tradesmen. So they're actually paying more than what that average is that you're talking about because they can't get people to do those jobs. So right now, a person going into being an electrician or being a plumber, and I know because my brother-in-law just, his, his family was struggling. He became an electrician and immediately, immediately he started making way more money. I think he makes six figures now. So, so yeah. The, the so this is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics in 2023. The average plumber earns fifty-two thousand dollars. What's the entry level for that? Uh, I don't I see why in certain, certain trades you can have certain most people because most people start off entry level. 
But that don't matter. Everybody but you're not entry. starting so, off entry level. So you wouldn't start off at 35 at entry level, right? You would start off at your like your final thoughts on this, y'all. Final thoughts so we can move entry, on. Entry is between 40 and 50. All right, so I'm on Zip Recruiter right now. While Zip Recruiter is seeing annual salaries at high as high as seventy seven thousand and as low as twenty two thousand, the majority of entry level plumbers' salaries currently range between thirty one thousand to fifty five thousand. Twenty fifth percentile as far as thirty one thousand, fifty five thousand at the seventy fifth percentile, with top earners ninetieth percentile making roughly about sixty six thousand. So. So like point I said, being, so point being, so point being, even a plumber wouldn't be able to live up to the lifestyle that you're claiming that they have to live. A plumber. But you just said, you just gave validity to what I said. I said sixty, right? That's a, that's an experienced plumber. My point is, my point is, is that we have everybody, certain people, everybody has their lot in life. Everybody. Some people will never do something. Some people will never get this. Some people will never be able to send their kids to college. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't be happy. Because as long as you got your family, you pay your bills, because most of us do that, and you find somebody to make it through life with, you should be happy. Nobody, we keep saying broke, but when we define broke, we're mostly talking about average people. That's why every time when people ask, is $45,000 enough for you? No, that's broke. It's not broke. So Especially then why so then so then why why is why do we have an issue in this country with everybody fighting to raise the minimum wage? Because why do we have an issue? The minimum why, wage, why, why do we have pays 14,000 to 21,000? Why, why do we have an issue? We have an issue with people fighting uh to raise the minimum wage. We have an issue with people complaining about not getting a living wage and the reason why is because that 30 to 40,000 that you could live comfortably on in the 80s and the 90s you can't live comfortably on that 30 to 40,000 what is the minimum wage in this country 725 right, to bring this home y'all 14,000 to 21,000 a year yeah. that's oh, not man. average yeah even a th even a kid coming in at entry level at 18 makes more than that they at least make well, the same but let, 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 let me say one thing before we move on, and this will be the last thing. Yeah, sure. Just, yeah. just because I'll, I'll always say, <laughs> just because just because most people were psychologically conditioned to not surpass the financial state they were predisposed to, doesn't mean evaluating and calling it what it is is wrong. I mean, it's broke. It, just like if you condition a race to think that slavery is a normal condition, doesn't mean someone who has come out of it can't look back and say those people are in bondage. They're in bondage just because most of them are in it doesn't mean that you can't make a uh, evaluative determination on what the state is. But but right, America, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We gotta move on, y'all. We gotta move on. Right. 